Hello everybody, my name is Nardo Dolls. Welcome! It is 5.30, so it's time for some Dog and Rope V3 Killing Harmony. Here's hoping that everything sounds okay. I tried messing with some of the audio settings, so... Hopefully everything sounds good. Hopefully my voice doesn't sound like it dropped like two octaves from what it used to. I don't know what caused it to change. It, the only thing that changed even remotely is the fact that I updated Windows and it forced me to update. And I don't know what settings it changed if that caused anything. So here's here's the hoping that everything sounds good. Nope, it still, it still sounds screwed up. I don't know why. But, anyway, here, last time we left off, we were doing the closing arguments of the fourth trial. Unfortunately, we ran out of time to finish the closing argument, but, unfortunately, we learned that Danta is the culprit. We don't know why he did it, but Kokichi somehow persuaded him to kill Mew. Unfortunately, Gonta doesn't remember this, so... <sighs> he is the victim. He is the culprit. So we have to go through this and convict him. And I'll have to go through his punishment. But sorry, Gonta, but if I want us all to survive, I can't back down. Oh! Oh no! That's right, we have to beat Kaido's, uh... We have to beat Kaido's, uh... Thing. His, uh... Are you armament? I didn't realize we... I must have saved before him. Final blow! There's no way to Toilet paper the discovered outside the mansion. It is here. The toilet paper we found outside the mansion. That's what the culprit used to get from the roof to the ground. Toilet paper? The same toilet paper that was used as the murder weapon. Even though we went through all this last time, I'll still go through it. That's why we didn't find it anywhere else. Not at the scene of the crime, nor on Mew's body. It was outside the mansion. Hold on. If they use the toilet paper as a rope to get down from the roof, then they need to tie it to something. But there was nothing to tie it to. I know because I investigated the roof. You're stubborn, Kaito. You're still going on about this. Of course I am. I'm going to believe in Gota till the very end. No, 
There was something that the toilet paper could have been tied to. What? Yes, the place where the toilet paper was tied down. That would be the monoculus. Right there. There! The binoculars on the rooftop. The toilet paper could have been tied there. However, I don't think the culprit actually tied it down there. They just hung it. And then used the double buff toilet paper to climb down. But in that case, they would have had to tug on it in order to take it down. Yep, that's correct. Because I came up with that idea. But I thought I told Gonja to put the toilet paper back in the bathroom. Oh, I just ran into someone on the way and then threw it somewhere close by. <laughs> Looks like Kaito's morale is shot, so this whole thing is done now. Stop being so angry about this, Kokichi. The matter does appear to be settled. Red, it's... I'm sorry, Gata. So, the truth. Gata really killed me. But I'm the one who came up with the plan. Anyway... Just admit your crime, Gonta. Even though you don't remember, you still did. But why would Gonta do such a terrible thing? Wait, before you start crying, you gotta admit your crime first. Stop. I won't let you, Kokichi. If anyone is gonna get him to confess, it's me. Gonta, I'm going to look back at the whole case one more time, okay? When you're convinced, you just let me know, all right? <laughs> you can't. Oh, I'm so sorry I have to do this to you, Gonta. So it's the toilet paper that doesn't tear. That is... Culprit used the strangle mute. Bottle of poison. See in the real world. Smoke bone. I told my motor would log down. The map of the virtual world. The boss of body, the lattice was used. You smuggled in a hammer to try to kill Kokiji. But you threw the signboard in the river at some point. Toilet before, how they used to get down. Ugh, it's really annoying me doing that sound thing. That sound issue. But I can't fix it, unfortunately. I don't know what's wrong. It was on the roof. kitchen. Smoothie was investigating the dining hall. In the 
the culprit look for the secret of the outside this world the outside the, the mansion. Here we go. The case began last night. After being convinced I knew, we all logged into the virtual world. To log in, you have to plug the memory and consciousness cords into the device. So, we all plug those cords into our helmets and enter the virtual world. But the culprit had accidentally plugged their cords into the wall before us. Because of this, a connection error occurred between the culprit's brain and their avatar. As a result, the culprit would forget everything that happened in the virtual world. It's possible that this had an effect. Oop. Alright. First day of the world. I can't believe that someone so kind could commit murder. But we had no idea this error even happened. So, we all logged in one by one. Meanwhile, Mew was the last to log in. She had modified the killing game simulator so she could accomplish a specific goal. After Mew confirmed we were all logged in, she took out the bottle of poison. Placed it on Kokichi's seat. This was done to make it look like Kokichi was killed by poison when he returned. Yes, the reason we modified the simulator and brought us to the virtual world was to kill Kokichi in the virtual world, but make it look like he had died in the real world. After we had all logged in, you explained the world to us. Use the salon phone to lock out. Objects are unbreakable. Your avatars use all five senses. She also explained the map of the virtual world in the mansion's entrance hall. But her explanation was intentionally false. She wanted us to misunderstand the world. However, one of us was able to see through her scheme. The very person you was trying to kill, Kokichi. Kokichi was going to use Mew's plan against her and plotted her murder. But Kokichi wouldn't do it himself. He used a patsy to be the culprit in this case. Kokichi was tight-lipped about the motive, so I don't know why the culprit agreed. But it seems as though, right after logging in, when Kokichi and the culprit went outside, they were already working together to execute the murder. What about the little audio glitch that people might have heard? Eventually, we met up with Kokichi and crossed the river to the chapel. You had a sword out to try to find some secret of the outside world. Kaito, Kokichi, Gonta, Tsumugi, and I investigated the mansion, while Maki, Hiriko, Kibo, and Yu investigated the chapel. Splitting us up was also part of Yu's plan. You told Maki that she was going to look around outside. She chased after our group while we were heading toward the mansion. Once she made sure we were across, she dropped the bridge into the river. This was to trick us into thinking that the river separated the mansion and chapel. At the time, we thought nothing of it. It was just another one of Mew's pranks. That's why 
how he continued with the original plan to find the secret of the outside world. He went to the mansion and split up to look for clues. Kokichi searched the salon. Kaito searched the roof. Tsumugi searched the dining room. I searched the kitchen. And finally, the culprit searched outside the mansion. Around that time, Mew was headed for the wall that was on the side of the chapel. She passed through the wall and headed for the mansion to kill Kokichi. You see, the wall was a special wall that Mew had added herself. This wall was programmed so that only objects could pass through it. And Mew had changed her avatar settings from human to object. That was the hidden route she prepared for herself. She set up a wall that only she could pass through. Mew headed toward the mansion, but she was seen by Tsumugi on the way. When she entered the mansion, she pulled out her cell phone. She didn't tell us that there was another way to log out. She spoke a name into the phone, which forced that person to log out. It was Kaito who was on the roof at the time. The same roof where Kokichi and Mew were going to meet. By having Kaito search the roof, and then forcing him to log out, she was making him look the most suspicious, but her plan didn't go smoothly. waiting on the roof with a culprit and a toilet paper used to kill me. While Mew was distracted by Kokichi, the culprit snuck up from behind. And used the toilet paper from the mansion's bathroom to strangle me. Oof, that sound effect. This was only possible because objects in the virtual world are unbreakable. Mew's avatar was strangled to death, and the shock killed Mew in the real world. After the murder, Kokichi left the cleanup to the culprit and left the roof. He probably returned to the salon as soon as he could to avoid drawing suspicion. The culprit then took the lattice from the storage room and placed Mew's body on top along with a hammer and a cell phone. over the railing and forcefully slid it down the roof slope. Zoom. With a body on top of it, the lattice became a makeshift sled and flew off the roof. It went through the wall that only objects can pass through before crashing into the chapel. That was the crashing sound that Kibo heard in the chapel, and we heard in the mansion. Mew's wall hid the fact that the mansion and chapel were actually right next to each other. That's why Tsumugi and I were able to hear the crash from the mansion. As the final step, the culprit had to then get off the roof. Because we were at the mansion, they couldn't take the stairs or they'd be seen. So they used the toilet paper again to escape from the rooftop. They 
hung the toilet paper from the binoculars on the roof and used it like a rope to climb down. Once the culprit was safely on the ground, they pulled at the toilet paper to retrieve it. They would have returned it to the bathroom, but they ran into us as we were leaving the mansion. In a panic, the culprit tossed the toilet paper somewhere nearby. I don't know why you wouldn't like try to throw it in the river. I mean, it's gone to so I guess you wouldn't have been smart enough to try. I guess. Without that one little mistake, he might never have solved this case because the culprit doesn't remember. This is the truth you've forgotten. Gonta Kokuhara, the ultimate entomologist. Uh, I'm sorry, Gonta! Gonta, this is the truth we've reached. Sorry. Gonta not really understand. Because Gonta not smart boy. But if everyone agrees, then... Everyone probably right. Go to trust everyone. Why? Go to kill you. Forget everything. Go to even think he not do anything bad. Go to try to blame someone else and make everyone suffer. Why? Why are you going to do such terrible things? Gonta, it's not your fault. It's Rokichi's fault. He must have tricked Gonta. Huh? I totally didn't trick him. Well, you tell us what you did do. Before we go into that, it's voting time. We should finish up the class trial first. But is this the right answer? For once, I wish that you were. Huh? Wrapping things up already? Hmm, what a buzzkill of an ending. It marks the rush of previous voting times. Well, after so many killing games, I guess it would now to happen again to me. Please tell me one of these two dies. Unfortunately, we have to vote for Gata Kukuara. <laughs> There's one vote for Kokichi. Yep, audio is still off when it cut. Audio is still not synced with video. So there were 
two back roots again. How do we keep missing these back? How do I keep missing these back roots? And what are they? I mean, I guess they are back roots, so it would make sense that uh, there's not really any that we can get. Let's look at the details. Uh, nothing really in the details that will tell us anything, you know, useful or anything of that sort. back to my voice uh, unfortunately with this audio thing all this voices are going to sound very different so i am sorry everybody well look at that you voted correctly congratulations you guys give yourselves a hand let me hear your joyful voices I said, let me hear the joyful voices. Damn it! Why? Jeez, they're just moping around. They should be happy for themselves. <laughs> I know I'm super happy. Hey, what should we name the kid? Good question. We should prepare six names. Yay! What? We're having six templates? I'm so happy I might go crazy! Hey, Kokichi, you said this would liven things up! What gives, huh? Here. You said you were gonna liven up the killing game in the class trial! And I said I'd promote the motive, the secret of the outside world, into the killing game simulator. <laughs> <laughs> that, was just a, that was just a lie. Oh, so it was a lie. It was just a lie. What was that? He just laughed it off. Hey. Are you satisfied, Kukichi? I want you to tell us. What is the outside world? What is the motive you gave Ganta? Uh, I plan to explain all of that, but it's more like, how do I say it? You guys are just gonna assume it's a lie if you read it for my cute lips. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, then let's have Ganta explain. Huh? huh? Ganta? Ganta doesn't remember anything. How can you expect him to? Right. Then we should all go back into the killing game simulator. Huh? What? Because... Why don't we ask the Ganta in the virtual world? But, but going back to the virtual world is... <laughs> There's a much easier way than that pain in the ass method. What are you talking about? Haha, <laughs> references! Is this Gonta? Huh? Is that Gonta? What's that mean? What sort of phenomenon is this? What did you do? I science the crap out of it! Hey, um... Relax, Himiko! It's not magic and it's not a trick! Alter 
doing a gun talk. It's just a computer simulation. It's just imitating Gunter's thought patterns. It's actually different from the real Gunter. Um, Gunter not understand who this ego person. See, it's even stupid like the real Gunter. You can hardly tell the difference. Plus, he's at Gunter's memory of the virtual world. So he should remember what happened. Please. Th then, other oh, Gonta, tell Gonta. Why? Why? Why did Gonta kill Mew? <gasps> kill Mew. Why does other Gonta know about? Oh man. <sighs> Unfortunately, our plan failed. You can tell her the truth now. Then, Gonta no could save everyone. Save everyone? Gonta don't know. Hey! Answer, Gonta! Why did Gonta kill Mew? Mew! Gonta just want to save everyone. He wants to save everyone. Gonta, what do you mean? Gonta. Gonta think for a long time. How can Gonta be useful for everyone? Gonta not smart enough to help with trials. Gonta stole, but no can fight XSLs. Um. Gonta feel frustrated, cause Gonta no could do anything. <sighs> Gonta understand how this Gonta feels. Yeah. Technically, they are the same person. But... So that's why Gonta think he have to do it for everyone's sake. Gonta think he gotta do it, cause everyone else not want to. Gonta. So, Gonta, ki Gonta kill Mew. What? What do you mean by that? I, I don't get it all! Jeez, God is always bad at explaining, at explaining as always. I guess I'll have to help. So, if you remember what happened at that time. No, we shouldn't. If we want to prevent another murder from happening. Yoink, I'll take that key card there. I'll take that code key then. Kukichi used his live body to his advantage and took the card key from Anakuma. Huh? The card key. So you used it. Yeah. After working tirelessly, I found more for the card key. After opening it, I saw the outside world. What? The outside world. What? That wasn't Anakuma's motive. But why would seeing the outside world be a motive? I'll tell you guys in a second, but that was when I found out about Mew's plan. <laughs> and it hit me. If I combined the two, then I'd be able to save everyone. Please wait. Save everyone? What do you mean? <laughs> hey now, you gotta listen to everything I say first. Anyway, that's why I made a deal with Makuma. If I livened up the killing game. Then he would let me use the outside world as a murder again. Huh? Again? In other words. Let me chime in! That motive keycard that Kokichi had was the right to view the outside world! But even though he saw the outside world, he didn't try to use it for the killing game! That disappointed me, but then Kokichi suggested that we reuse the motive! He said we should bring back the right to view the outside world one more time! And I decided to run with that idea! So I loaded a flashback light with memories of the outside world and put it in the simulation! Huh? Memories of the outside world in the flashback light? Huh? 
The secret of the outside world in the virtual world was about the flashback light. You know? And if it was the flashback light, it would mean that it would mean the secret of the outside world is part of our forgotten memories. Huh? What are you saying? Wait. But why would anything about the outside world be emotive in the first place? Incomprehensible. What? Going on here. Oh. Uh, you can't remember. Okay, fine. You get it? Let's talk about this motive later. We have to finish this case up first. Uh. Mommy committed the flashback light in the simulator, but I knew where it was hidden. And I started to get in the virtual world. Hey! Hey. You even knew where it was hidden. That's not fair. Wow! I just placed it! I never actually said I hid it! If anyone had asked, I would have gladly told you where it was! <laughs> it's a little late for that! So Gunto was exposed to the flashback light! Um. Yes. When Kokichi and Gonto lead together. But Gonto can watch Kokichi, so he not do anything weird. Gata, you're so sweet, but I knew you'd say that. Even without your ridiculous physical strength, as long as you're selfless and courageous, you'd make a terrific bodyguard. Bodyguard? With you by my side, I know I'll be safe from any trap. Okay then, let go. Ah oh, wait, Kokichi! It's okay. Leave it to Gonta. Gonta keep eye on Kokichi. What's Kokichi? Trying to let Gonto off by himself? Maybe. The only person I entrusted with the secret of the outside world was Gonta. Gonta. After that, Gonta got taken to Forest Hill Mansion. Is that flashback light? It looks like it. Maybe the secret of the outside world is hidden in it. We gotta tell everyone! Wait... Are you sure don't you want to believe a liar like me so easily? Huh? This might be a trap, you know. Shouldn't you check if I'm lying first? I mean, you want to protect everyone, right? This is the perfect time to do it. Protect everyone. How this happen? And then, got to remember a secret of outside world, but that just confused got to more about what to do. <sighs> what can got to do to save everyone? Gonto no could think of anything. <laughs> so I told him. If he wanted to save everyone, he should just put everyone out of their misery. In other words, a mercy kill. What did you say? What? No way. Was Gonto tricked? Wrong. No, you not tricked. Cause when Gonto remembers secret of outside world, Got to think it would be easier to die. What? Um. Remember what everyone said at the beginning that this economy is hell? Got to agree. Are we actually already dead? Academy that forced students to be part of killing game is hell. So everyone think they wanna if 
I don't know why I'm going so much. Is it this place? Right. But if it's still hell outside, what do we do? What do you mean, Gata? Inside is hell. Outside is hell. What should Gata and friends live for? And everyone who died, what did they die for? It's hell outside and hell inside. And then, Kokichi, tell me. Best way to save everyone from hell is to put them out of misery while they still not know. And only one who could do such dirty work is Gonta. That's right. The only way you can save everyone is to free them from this hell. Gonta took on the dirty work for us. If he had survived this class style, he would have lived in this hell alone. But it took the on that role for us. Shouldn't we appreciate it more? Hold on. Wait a minute! I still don't get what's happening! Um. What outside world are you talking about? It's hell out there. What do you mean? What did Kokichi and Gata see? What did we forget? Hey. Hurry up and tell us, or we won't be able to understand it. <laughs> Gonta, what pushed you to do such a thing? Answer, Gonta! Sorry. Sorry, Gonta no can tell you. Why? Can't tell us. Why? Ugh, yawning again. Because if Gonta tell you, then everyone will end up like Gonta. Everyone, despair. Despair. I know it. A despair that makes you want to die. A despair that makes you want to put everyone out of their misery. Did you think the kind Gato would tell you about such despair from his own from his own mouth? But now we don't know any more than when we started. Now you know how Gato and I found the killing game busters, right? Then you can accept. Then, you can't accept everything else about this case. You can imagine the rest, right? I... Use Mew's plan and turned it against her. I had got away from sight. Where Mew and I were supposed to meet. Huh? Kata's out of here. Yeah, you're right. Oh, man. Oh, honor you asked me to meet up with you. Is this a booty call? Or are you here to kill me? So, you figured it out, but there's nothing you can do. You can't resist me. I'm just to my previous settings. Uh oh. Yes, I'm in trouble now. I I'm sorry, but you should just give up. This is. My only chance. I have no choice but to do this. My inventions will change the world. I'll make the world a better place. It's my duty as a decent inventor, so, so I can't afford to die here. And then she died here. Sorry, God, I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry, Gata. She was trying to kill me, too. She said it was for the world or whatever, but that was just a poor excuse. We're doing this to stop the vicious cycle of misery. She don't need to apologize. But, 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 Gata, sorry. Gata, so sorry, Mew. I already said you don't need to apologize. We had to do this for. We had to do this for everyone's sake. It can't be. Gonta would never. By the way, 
<laughs> you should know that this was it was Gonta's idea to slide the body into the chapel wall. Huh? What? Gonta's idea? Gonta. <laughs> Before Gonta went to the roof, he happened to see Mew walk through the wall. Go to tell Kokichi, and he think of everything else. But... Gata gave me a chance. I like to think we make a pretty good team. Tell me. Good. What's good about that? You're the worst. Um... That whole story. That's everything that happened. Well. So in the end, you don't plan to tell us this. Secret of the outside world. Sorry. Sorry, Gonta no can tell you that. Oh, well, I mean, hear that story, it sounds like you were tricked by Tokichi. What can this be? But Gonta did kill Mew. Gonta really did it. Sorry. Sorry. Everyone, Gonta is so sorry. Yeah. Gonta. <laughs> But Gonda's plan to save ev got but Gonda's plan to save everyone fell. Gonda not save anyone. Gonda just make everyone suffer more. Gonda is stupid. So stupid. How can Gonda call himself gentleman? Everyone, please forgive him. God's going to save us all from despair by taking on the sin of killing us. But you reach for the truth, and God's plan failed. All of you could have been saved if you died without knowing anything. She's saying it was wrong to fight for the truth. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Or at least, God and I think so. You should have all died ignorant. God even killed me for that sake, you know. Don't no shit! You made him kill her! Please stop! No, God, I is bad! God, I kill someone! God, I is Mara! It's true! Yes, God, I make everyone suffer! Why am I yawning? That is true! Sorry. Gonta is sorry he fell everyone. Gonta is sorry for being stupid. Gonta is sorry he make everyone suffer. Gonta so sorry. <laughs> we get it. You don't need to apologize anymore. You're probably all thinking that I should have taken on the dirty work and not got it right. Everyone hates me. So the rule of the village is perfect for me. I know that. Yeah, I know already. It should have been my responsibility. But when I realized you was targeting me, I thought to myself, she must already have she must already have a way to prevent me from fighting back in the virtual world. I suppose. And in fact, you were right. She set it up so she could paralyze you with just a touch. So am I. So that's why I had to have gone to I would have done it myself if I could. Okay, but you didn't need to push everything on the god to Please stop. Stop. It's okay. <sighs> Everyone, please. Don't blame Kokichi anymore. Please. Please. <laughs> Gunta, you. How nice can you be, Gunta? You really are stupid sometimes. <sighs> you, you're right. Someone as stupid as Gonta could never be a gentleman. Hey, hey! Hey, so, are we done yet? Huh? What? And the you guys are starting to talk in circles! So let's just move on to the exciting stuff! <laughs> yes! The eagerly anticipated punishment time! I'm gonna save quick. So we don't have to go through the ending of all of that again. I don't know why I didn't save earlier. Wait, if you're gonna punish him, 
the bleeps. Punish me too. Huh? Kokichi. I know that. I'm prepared for it. If you're gonna execute Gata, then I. <sighs> it's okay, Ko it's okay, Kokichi. Please let Gata sacrifice himself for everyone's sake. That's all Gata can do anymore. Let everyone forgive each other and be friends, okay? Alright, I promise. Okay. Alright! It's time to punch the ultimate entomologist, Gata Goku Hara! Hmm. Oh man. Uh. Oh man! I bet his is gonna have a lot of gross, nasty bugs! There's this subplot between them. The contractions are speeding up any minute now. Hi. Quick, hold my hand. Now then. I prepared a special punishment for him. Uh, wait, please. I don't want this. Don't go, Gonta. No. Don't go, Kokichi. Gonta is okay. Gonta not cry. Gonta not re really not scared. B but how can this be? Gonta upset. Gonta upset. He no could protect everyone. Gonta, you, you can't cry either. Well then, let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. I apologize for all the encoding issues you guys are about to experience. Sorry. Gonta, love you all. Gonta, idiot. Gonta is so sorry for being stupid. And here comes the encoding issues. Very sorry, everyone. So to describe it, Gonta seems to be, he's chained up to a pole, and he's got his alter ego thing there. So it's like a Western Sheriff thing? Shooting... Anakuma's shooting bees at him! Wild West Insecticide! Oh, and he's got his little computer thing, computer alter ego with him. He's shooting hornets at him! They are not at all! Wow, Gante is strong! Please tell me that Monophane is just gonna explode. Whoa! That is... That is a big bug! Oh! Oh, it killed both of them! Oh, it killed both my cubs! And that bug goes up... And stabs Gonta and the computer right through the chest. And Monokuma puts him out with fire and burns them both. <laughs> Surprised! What a twist, huh? Again, I am so sorry for these encoding issues, but I am stuck with the laptop because the recording area in here do not have proper stuff 
to this show. So, it looks like the um, encoding thing is just stuck on Gunta's picture. So, uh, I gave you my audio description so you guys could look up at you could look it up at some point. Uh, just look at Gonta Gokahara's execution. I'm sure it's on YouTube in a much better quality than I've given you guys. If even I didn't see that coming! All my little cubs have been destroyed! Wow! I'm so sad! All that cuteness gone to waste! What are you talking about? You're the one responsible for this. What? Why would you just do such a thing to your own children? Cause lately they've been acting all buddy buddy and neglecting me. Yeah, I'm never gonna get the hang of this whole parenting thing. That's what. Doesn't matter now. We don't have the time to give him attention. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna walk away quietly and go mourn my dead kids later. Damn it! Why did it turn out like this? About a minute. Hey Kukichi, why don't you tell us now what is the secret of the outside world? If we don't know, then we won't be able to understand or accept it. I can't accept it either, Kukichi. What is the secret of the outside world? What kind of secret would push God to that far? I have a feeling that there is no outside world anymore. Everything is destroyed. There's nothing. Kokichi, if you really care for Gonta, then explain yourself to everyone and... I don't... I don't want to. Huh? You what? I don't want to, stupid head. Kokichi. <laughs> oh man, did you fall for all that fake crying? You're so dumb! I would never cry for Gonta! Have we not killed this guy yet? How has no one decided to kill him? What? F fake crying? Okay, so it looks like there's still some uh, issues right now with the art. With the visuals, so I don't know what's really going on right now. Okay, I think everything is. Fixed up now. Because if I said the actual truth back there, Gunter would have been real mad. I think we're real mad at you. That would have interfered with the game, so I simply lied to calm him down. <laughs> See, I know you lied for a good purpose, right? What? What? What do you mean? What really happened? What did you make him- Why did you make him do that? Obviously, so it wouldn't be boring. Huh? What are you- I gave God an incentive, cause I thought he'd liven up the game. Come on, think about it. If I actually really wanted to save everyone, like what God did, I would never betray God to her. You should have realized that. Then, then, why did Gonta... <laughs> Who cares about that idiot? I want to 
enjoy this game filled with suspicion and betrayal from the bottom of my heart. Kokichi gave one of, gave us one of his creepy smiles. When I saw it, I finally saw Kokichi for what he really is. Malice. His entire body, nothing but raw and unfettered malice. I am the supreme leader of evil, so it's obvious my personality would be twisted. The more you suffer, the more I enjoy. There are people in this world who spread grief and misery for no reason than the thrill of it. And I am one of those people. Nothing pleases me more than inflicting pain on others. So is the ultimate sadist. You? Seriously! Who the hell do you think you are? So, for your own entertainment, you sacrificed Mew and Gonta. You're so dumb. What's so bad about that? You kill people for money. Right, Maki Roll. You bastard. Someone like you has no right to call me Maki Roll. I feel like that one is a genuine threat. <laughs> <laughs> you look so much better with that scowl on your face, Maki Roll. But hey, you guys are just way too trusting. If only you suspected me more, then. <laughs> Neil and Gata wouldn't have died such meaningless deaths. Don't screw around! <laughs> meaningless deaths! Kaido screamed and sprinted up to Kokichi like a bullet. Yeah, a dull thud resonated throughout our skulls. Oh! Sorry, I tried to dodge you, but I punched you instead. Oh! Kaito! You! By the way, Kaito, is it just me? Or are you way <laughs> Maybe. Just maybe. Kaito is hiding something from us, too. Kaito! Kaito, are you okay? Kaito kept coming at him, and Maki glared at Kokichi with piercing eyes. Mm -hmm. For someone who claims to be bad at fighting, you were pretty agile just now. <laughs> 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 and you believe the lie like that? Oh! You really want to die, don't you? Let's have more oh, did I finally provoke you enough? Is it because of Kaido? No, Maki! <laughs> what am I thinking? Maki wouldn't lose a cool for a guy like Kaido. He's way too pathetic. He's all bark and no bite. Let's face it, the ultimate astronaut is just a trainee anyway. Kukichi never got to finish his provocation. No one cared what he had to say. They all rushed to Kaido's side. <laughs> Kaido, are you hurt? Are you alright? Can you stand? Do you need to lean on my shoulder? Uh, sorry, my MP's at zero, so I can't use any recovery magic. I use it all to detect the lies that Gonta might have told. Oh? Hey, well, I also weren't worried about this pathetic yet. That's wrong. Pathetic? Look at yourself, Kokichi. Mm -hmm. But. No. Kaido always has us by his side, see? But no one wants to be around you. You're alone, Kokichi, and you always will be. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about friends. Friends don't make this game more entertaining. Oh, man. Jeez. Boring. I'm no longer interested. I don't care anymore, but I will tell you this. <laughs> the one who will win this game is me. Kaido, are you okay? Uh, uh. Huh? Hey, K 
Kaido? Hey. You don't look you don't look well. It didn't seem like he punched you that hard, but what? Did you hit your head or something? I'm okay! It's fine! Okay? Don't push yourself. You should lie down and I s said I'm fine! Kaido tried to get up, but... Ugh. Kaido doubled over. Doubled over. His knees gave out and he collapsed hard. <laughs> oh! What? That's a lot of blood! Kaido? Blood? Why? What's the matter, Kaido? Come on. Don't freak out over this. It's nothing. My cold just got worse is all. I didn't know that dropping of blood was a cold symptom. You're a robot, and you don't know that? I'm saying it's fine. Just chill. I just coughed too much to cut my throat or something. I don't know. As he spoke, he somehow got to his feet. Oh! Yeah, that's uh... Yeah, that's it! I just need a drink of water! Sorry, but I'm gonna head back to my room! Okay, I'll go with. Don't follow me! What? I can walk on my own! I don't need your help, sweetie! Kaido staggered off. I'll go with him. It would be bad if he collapses on the way. Right. We'll leave it to you then. Don't worry about it, Suichi. Kaido is just stressed out is all. Why? Why did it end up like this? I thought, I thought I could help. I wanted us all to survive. And I wanted it so damn bad, I kept fighting for it. Fighting for the truth. And this is what I get. If I tried to survive, just playing the stupid game. Just like Kokichi. Damn it. Planning. I'll end this killing game. That slasher smile. A face. This world is mine, Kokichi Oma. Oh. Live and let the languid world live. of chapter. Only seven members left. To be continued. We got the empty insect cage. Yes, we would like to see. Oh, oh, oh wow. All of that. I regret spending my time with Kokichi. I thought he was like possibly redeemable at some point, but no! No! Not, not at all! Oh!
Maybe because they saw you die, and, uh, you know. And to be fair, uh, they, uh, Mono Kid was, Mono Kid and Monosuke were first, uh, murdered by Mono Dog. Mono Dog sacrificed himself, and the last two just ended up dying from execution. They were just collateral damage, I guess. Oh, this is a moon shift. What's an irreplaceable life anyway? That moon shift. Chapter 5. Voyage without postation or purpose. The morning after Gondor was declared the Black End, we gathered in the dining hall as always. As always. No. How could that be? With everyone with everything that happened yesterday. Even in such a dark time, one of us was still bright and trying to cheer us up. Cheer us all up. Jeez, don't be stupid, guys! There's no way I'd die, you know! Are you really okay? I'm telling you, I'm just fine! I wasn't feeling great yesterday, but after a good night's sleep, I'm all better! I'm 100% better now! Coughs up blood. But. There's no way you'd get better so quickly after coughing up that much blood. Oh. I told you, didn't I? I just coughed too much and cut my throat a little at all. That's all. Um. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard or suffering from a chronic illness? Idiot. Don't be stupid. If I had a chronic illness, I wouldn't stand a chance in astronaut training. Seriously. You guys are worrying too much! Just cause you all love me and can't help yourself! Of course we'd be worried. My bad! My bad! But I'm serious! You don't need to worry about me anymore! I should have told you guys I wasn't feeling well! I made you worry for nothing! Come on, man. Okay! Don't glare at me like that! I do start feeling bad! I'll have you guys to help me, okay? Now that that's out of the way, let's eat! Yeah, come on guys, let's all eat! Kaido spoke cheerfully, then left to go get his meal. Is there really nothing wrong? With what I saw yesterday, how can I act like nothing's wrong? Despite Kaito's remarks, he should probably receive medical attention just in case. Now we've got another reason why we need to get out of here. Okay. And on top of that, we need to do it fast. 
escaping is all well and good. But what does the outside look like? We still don't know what the secret of the outside world is either. God it wouldn't tell us because... God it wouldn't tell us what it was because it gave us so much despair we'd want to die. What was that? I if it's true, then what could possibly be happening outside this academy? Kind of returned to the table, his hands full of food. I don't know what the clicking sound is when I do uh, Kaido's voice. We can figure that out! Ju just thinking about it! So there's no point wasting your brain power! But we simply can't- But we can simply not think about- No. So sure, there's a chance the outside world is messed up because of Monokuma! But making us worry about it is what Monokuma wants! He is using it to put pressure on us! Kokichi and Gonta just snapped under that pressure. The outside world is probably fine. Yeah. You're such an optometrist. Opt Can you prescribe some rose-colored glasses for me too? Okay, I gotta admit, I gotta admit, even though that was actually a pretty clever line. Uh, I think you mean optimist. Either way, that's something to think about once we get outside, so focus on that now! Hi there, Detective. What are your thoughts on this, Suey? Uh, okay. I've considered a few theories, but I can't say for sure. Right. Well, that's understandable. There are barely any clues. Go the actual, um, the only two ultimate labs that we're missing are Kaito's and Kokichi's. So we're probably gonna get that price soon. Since the incident yesterday, Kyle won't look me in the eyes. He must still be angry. But I had no choice. I had no other options. My deduction wasn't wrong. If I hadn't identified Gonta as the culprit, we would all be dead. For the rest of us to survive, Gata had to be sacrificed. There was nothing I could do. Hey, so I'm glad we're talking about how to escape! But where'd he go? Hokichi! Huh? Ah. The instant Kaido spoke his name, a nervous energy shot through us. I haven't seen him. Even if I did, I'd be the one running away. Hmm. I haven't seen him either. It's like he has completely vanished. Hmm. He's apparently really good at hide and seek. So he's probably just hiding somewhere. I have a feeling I know who those double doors on the first floor that we couldn't go to earlier. I think I know who those belong to. Probably Kukichi. We can't just let that person be. He's a little too dangerous. No, not just a little. Because he... He enjoys watching us suffer. His face just screams that he's having fun whenever he sees us suffer. He's not normal. There's obviously something wrong with him. If we weren't in this killing game, I would have assassinated him already. <sighs> Ironic, the rules of this game actually make it hard to kill. Hey! Mock roll, that's not good! Playing this killing game is just what Monokuma wants us to do! <sighs> I know. Yeah? Yeah, is Maki Roll a nickname for Maki? That's a good nickname. It makes me want to take a bite out of her with soy sauce and spicy mustard. Right, Maki Roll. I'm pretty sure Kaido was the only one who's allowed to call that. Sorry. Sorry. I guess I don't know how close we are just yet. Hey! Hey, if we don't do anything, we'll all be killed by Kokichi next! 
I bet even now, he's hiding somewhere and plotting against us. No. No, actually, we're safe right now. Fukichi told us that his objective was to win a killing game. He wouldn't risk a murder that would ob so obviously implicate him. <laughs> but he might be planning to make us suffer some other way. Like how he used Gunter. Anyway, we need to find him as soon as... And it's time for a prize! Here I am! Yeah, yeah Monokuma. Why? What are you doing here? <laughs> I've got business with you guys, of course! It's our prize, right? Hurry up and give it to us. Can do! You're being awfully, awfully compliant. Of course! I can't refuse you at all! Not when I'm all alone and outnumbered! Right, because he can't control the Exosols. Only the Mono Cubs could. Because, for some reason. Outnumbered! But I'm used to being alone! Back in the day, I was alone from start to finish! Anyway, here's your prize this time! What do we do about this new area? I... I think we should pr so prioritize so ser searching for that new area or searching for Kokichi. It likely contains a flashback light and we may discover some new facts. So you're saying humans are low priority. Typical for a bloodless, killless machine man. Um. I'm not sure we're close enough for you to be making jokes like that. <laughs> What do you want to do, Kaido? <laughs> I'm worried about Kokichi, but there's no point worrying about him all the time! Alright, our first priority is to solve the mystery of this academy! Let's investigate! Ah, alright, uh, I'll hold on to that. Oh, that's right! Without meeting my eyes, Kaido placed the key into my palm. Kaido, so AJ, what's the matter? You say you both seem different today. Well. Read the mood key. Read the mood key, Bo. It's fine. So let's go already. We split up and begin our search. Now I know where these two keys go. One of them goes to the room here on the first floor in this hallway. Uh, not this hallway. Uh, the hallway over uh by the gym. And this other one goes all the way at the very top floor because there was a door, a locked door there that we couldn't get into. But we will get into that next time. So I'm going to look at his proof that you cleared chapter four. A memento of Gonto left empty after no one remained to care for the insects. Oh, that's a, that's a little.